Welcome to Heels to Suits blog and vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So today we're going to talk about how to start an online slash work from home business with no money, not even one dollar, okay? My name is Kastaro, also known as The Real K-Star. Welcome to Heels to Suits and today I'm going to give you a realistic video on how to start an at-home slash online work from home business with no money. And guys, literally the same things that I am doing, I'm just going to share it all with you knowledge my strategies things that i've learned just take it i want you to use it to the best of your ability and i want you to be successful so welcome to heels to suits let's get right into this video just a couple of reminders before we get going now the first reminder is remember it's easy to start a business it's super easy to start a business but it's hard to maintain a business so make sure the business that you want to start, you do all of the research behind it so you have a full understanding of what it is that you're about to get yourself into. This is going to grow based on your work ethic, your drive, your value that you provide to your customers. It's all going to be based on you and you just have to have the passion, the consistency, the work ethic to continue to go, to continue to try and grow, to continue to grow because it's going to be hard to get there. So just make sure that you have that passion, that drive, that hard work ethic because there's going to be plenty of days where you feel like you're failing, but really you're succeeding because you're, you're doing what you have to do. Doing something is better than doing nothing. Another reminder, no money is required right now. However, eventually based on the field of business that you choose, you will have to get certain licenses and certifications to run your business. If you want me to do a video on licensing and certifications, just let me know in the comments below, or you can check out my blog post on Heels to Suits, and I discuss the top YouTubers to gain certain knowledge from. Rather, it can be licensing and certifications, um, marketing tips, SEO, just different things. So that will be in the description below if you guys want to check that out so first let's talk about businesses to start with absolutely zero dollars you're gonna to have to decide whether you want to run a e-commerce store become a freelancer or if you want to gain passive income e-commerce store is buying and selling goods online freelancing is working for different companies rather than working for one company permanently and then of course passive income regular income from a source rather than an employer or a contractor so first of course we're going to talk about e-commerce stores and what you can do with no money to open you an e-commerce store today and everybody knows the first one is drop shipping everybody always talks about drop shipping i'm sure if you guys went and looked up different ways to start businesses with no money you've seen plenty of youtubers talking about drop shipping Shipping is pretty popular, however, it does have its ups and downs. So here's how drop shipping works. First, you're gonna find a trending product on social media. I would suggest TikTok, and you can even check out Amazon to see the top sellers of certain products on there. So after you find the products that are trending, you will then create promotional content for those products. If you create the promotional content, I suggest creating a website using Big Cartel. Now, I suggest using Big Cartel because when you make a website using Big Cartel, you get five listings for free. So that way you don't have to worry about no monthly payments for your website. So now that you've found your product, you created your promotional material, and now you finally have your website, your free website. You did all of this for free, you found yourself a product, promoted it, and now you have your website. You're going to take those pictures from AliExpress and you're going to insert them onto your website along with the descriptions, etc. Those are going to be the items that your customers are going to purchase. You're then going to set up your payments, whether you are using PayPal or whatever source of payment you're going to use to receive your payments. And when your customer goes and orders from your website, you are going to then take all of their information and put it into AliExpress as if you are purchasing that item and but you're going to put in their information so here's where we come in with some problems not really like problem problems but it could potentially lead to problems so 
put in their information, you get the tracking number, you are going to send that tracking number to your customer. It's all gonna be on your end as if you are placing an order for yourself, but realistically, you're just charging a certain amount from AliExpress, from your customer, and you are, you know, you're drop shipping. That's what drop shipping is. So now here are the problems with drop shipping. Don't have the inventory on hand. You cannot control your customer's shipping. You don't know what's going on with it, except for what the website tells you. And them on the other hand, they can go and look up the tracking number. I don't think that they're gonna know that it's from AliExpress, but they will see that it's coming from China. So they will be able to see that their package is coming from China. If your customers or your clients don't know too much about you, then I mean, realistically, who cares, I guess. But if you have a good like fan base and you just don't want people to question trust within you and your business, then that's where AliExpress and drop shipping can be, you know, that's where problems can come in. Why it's important to make sure when you are drop shipping, you choose a vendor with a good shipping time. Um, they will be like in the green, it'll say like seven to 10 days shipping, uh, two to three, five to 10, however many days shipping, they will be in the green. So you'll be able to easily see those who have good shipping times. Um, so drop shipping isn't all too bad. I know I kind of probably made it sound terrible, but it's not, it's not all too bad because if you do have any problems with the shipping or like, let's say a package gets lost or something like that, because you know, you don't have any control of it. The vendors do communicate very well. So as long as your vendor will communicate with you, remember also the time zones are a little different. Um, so sometimes it might be a little bit of a delay, but if you're up around their time, they will definitely respond. So as long as you communicate with your vendors, if you have any problems, like just make sure you communicate with them and they will make sure everything is good. If you have to replace an item, just let them know what's going on. Like they take care of it. So just make sure you communicate and everything will go smoothly. Later alternative for drop shipping. Now, guys, I'm outside. When you do start making some money, if you want to get Shopify, Shopify is $1 for the first three months. And then after that, I ain't even gonna lie, it's expensive. It's only $30 a month, but like just different things be adding up. But anyways, if you feel like you're doing good and you want to upgrade, go over to Shopify, $1 a month. And guys, I don't get paid for nothing. Y'all see my views, but. <laughs> With Shopify, your drop shipping, they literally like manually add AliExpress or like their drop shipping sources that they use, they manually add them to your website. So that way when a customer places an order, you don't have to take their information and insert it on AliExpress. When they place an order on your Shopify website, it'll automatically like Go, the information will automatically go over to the vendor and the vendor will just automatically take care of the shipping. So you in between don't have to do anything, just list the product and that's it. So Shopify is good for that. But if you're using Big Cartel, you do have to manually go over to AliExpress and put in your customer's information. Also, sometime when you're, avail when you're able to Get yourself a sample of that product off of AliExpress. A reminder, AliExpress is super, super cheap. So like if you want to get yourself one of those items that are trending, you can promote it. Like people can see that you're using it and it'll probably make them want to buy it more. So that is also like something down the line. If you're like, okay, I made a little bit of money, I can get this, then you know, that is another route to go to do like UGC content with whatever product that you purchase. Um, overall for drop shipping, I will rate drop shipping. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna rate it like a five out of 10, but I will rate it a six out of 10. I'm gonna rate it a six out of 10 because like I said, you don't have the inventory on hand. And sometimes people wanna see stuff. Like, I know they don't be asking Walmart, like, oh, let me see that before I buy it. But you know, when you are starting off as a small business owner, People just want to question you so much. <laughs> and so sometimes they might want to see something. So I'll give dropshipping a six out of 10.
So another thing to do when you are starting a business with no money, you can sell handmade goods or crafts on Etsy. Or uh, I guess you can do Big Cartel again, but I would recommend Etsy because Etsy, you can literally like just upload your stuff over there. It's 20 cents per listing, but they do charge it monthly. And Etsy's platform, they drive their own traffic over there because Etsy does like their own promotion to get traffic to their page. I'm just gonna give myself a reminder to never do a video outside again because I know it's a lot of background noise. I apologize, y'all. Starting a business with no money, you can sell handmade goods or crafts. Now that is what I did. Actually, you know what? I invested a little bit of money into lashes and lip gloss, but I eventually did start selling handmade goods and those were body scrubs, but realistically, I still had to spend money on containers and stuff. So if you're gonna sell handmade goods or crafts on Etsy, it will potentially have to be something that you already have access to do if you're gonna start up with no money. Um, I don't know, like if you knit or like sew, like I don't know what you do, draw pictures, art, I don't know. But anything that's artsy and craftsy, you can definitely sell it on Etsy. For selling handmade goods, I wanted to give it an 8 out of 10, but honestly, I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10 as well because selling handmade goods, it hurts your hands, okay? Guys, I literally had to make like so many freaking body scrubs and body oils and when I would run out and have to make more, like my hands, oh my goodness, ugh. Two more things here are part of the e-commerce store, which potentially fall in two other categories as well, but I still think they are kind of fit for e-commerce store. So the first one is going to be selling digital products. You can sell digital products on Etsy. This right here, I'm gonna automatically say is a 10 out of 10 because after you create your digital product, you don't have to do anything else. It's just there to sell, 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 and you can literally just continue to just keep creating digital content. Make sure you use the right keywords when you're marketing your content and you don't have to do anything. After it's created, that's it. It can continue to sell. It's not going to sell out. So I highly recommend that. I did start that as well. So I will put up a couple of digital products I made so you guys can check that out. I'll put them right over here for you to start selling digital products you're going to want to look on social media again to see what digital products are trending you're going to look on etsy you're going to type in digital and then the first couple of words that pop up those are going to be the most recent searches that people are searching actively so usually when you type in digital on etsy those first couple of things you'll probably want to make something related in those you know categories to what people are searching so that way so that way people will find your material that you're creating. So after you find what products are trending, you're then gonna go and get Canva. You are going to use Canva Pro. You can start the free trial for three or 30 days, 30 days free trial for Canva. And you're going to go over there and create your digital product. Check out my blog post on the best YouTubers to watch to create digital products on Canva. I will add that in the description and like right here for you guys. And then after you find your products that are trending, after you create it on Canva, literally you upload your digital product right after you create it, upload it on Etsy, set your price and done. You never have to create the same digital product again. Create different ones and just generate income. Now guys, that's also part of the passive income. That's how, that's why I said it can relate to other other terms as well so then also another one that can relate to another term I added service offers so you can offer services if you specialize in anything particular share your knowledge be consistent make people want to know more of what you do you can set up a website to offer your services again I would recommend um, Big Cartel being that you don't have to pay any money on Big Cartel unless you get advanced services of course um you can start a coaching business you can start like business promotion content creation there's more 
but that's going to bring us into freelancing. That's going to bring us into freelancing. But however, when you do offer services, you do create yourself a website as well. And when you create your website, you are just going to be offering your service offers. You're not going to be selling like physical products on there. On Heels to Suits, I share everything that I've learned to manage a successful business so that your business can be successful too. If you've made it this far into my video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now for the service offers, I'm going to rate that one. I'm going to rate that one. I was going to rate it, guys. I had like all these different rates in my head but now that I'm I changed my mind I was gonna rate it an 8 out of 10 but I'm gonna rate it a 7 out of 10 now typically speaking it's good because you don't have to like spend no money obviously but you have to put in so much work but then again all these businesses that you are looking into you have to put in a lot of work you have to dedicate your life to it okay literally you have to put in so much work but with the service offers, I will say you are dealing with people, okay? You're dealing with people. You're dealing with something that's going to help them with their business. You're going to be helping them do things to better their business. So whatever it is that you're going to be assigned, that's going to be for them to help their business and their brand. So you just, you have to be a good people's person. Have good skills talking to people. Um, just you know so that's something that you would want to look into if you're going to offer services so again i said that one was a seven out of ten and now we're going to go on to freelancing so again freelancing is working for different companies so how to start freelancing determine your skills and your value your value is what you have to provide okay your value is going to be what these people want this is going to be why they want to hire you what do you have to offer so guys I feel like I talk about value in all of my videos different types of freelance work includes we have social media services social media services can include marketing management content creation creative captions and hashtags and scheduling posts social media management overall like there's a diff there's a whole category for social media management and social media services there's so many different things you can do so if you specialize or if you just have anything that you're good at doing when it comes to social media that can be something that you specialize in and you also want to make sure that you are very specific with your target audience your niche like when it comes to specializing in certain skills you have to be very specific so you can reach your target audience your target ideal customer because realistically, if I'm hiring someone to, let's say I need someone to manage my TikTok account for me, I don't want to hire someone who works on all social media platforms. Or, I mean, I wouldn't mind, but let's say there's someone who works on all social media platforms and then there's someone who works on just TikTok. I would rather have the person that works on just TikTok because they obviously specialize. They obviously specialize in what they're doing versus working all over the place so try to niche down and specialize in whatever it is that you're going to be offering so then we have web design graphic design we have writers video editing and SEO specialists so if any of this there's so many more so just look it up on Google um, there are plenty of youtubers as well who talk about all of this stuff so if anything oh I actually have my favorite youtuber i will put her i'll put her right up here because i love her i'm gonna put her right up here for you guys to see so she talks about things to do as a social media manager or a freelancer in general everything that you need for freelancing i'm gonna put her right here her name is latasha james and she is freaking awesome so i'm gonna add her in this video so you guys can see and make sure you go follow her so what you need to start first you need to showcase your skills what's wrong mamas you need to showcase your skills, share your knowledge, make people curious to learn more. You want them, when they see something, you want them to be curious and be like, oh, okay, what's going on? Let me go check out, like, they're going to go click on your page and go scroll like, oh, okay, okay. You want them to want to learn more. And when they want to learn more, that's when you get a follow or a subscribe. And that's when you get yourself a customer or a client or an audience who just sticks around and they're here for everything that you have to offer because they like what you're putting out. So you're gonna create your website. <clears throat> you're gonna create a website, you're gonna create a portfolio. 
you're going to create contracts and invoices now for freelancing there is a lot a lot of stuff that you have to do to go like to get started um realistically speaking some of this stuff like you won't really have to worry about it until you have your first client but still you don't want to get your first client let's say i want to hire you you're like okay cool i got somebody who wants to hire me but now you don't know what to do next so me personally i went and set up everything that i needed I had to check on the baby but yeah i had set up everything that i needed before going and even trying to get my first client because i didn't want to have somebody who wanted to hire me and then i was just like oh shoot i don't know what to do because that's definitely what was going to happen also if you guys are interested in becoming a social media manager again i'm going to tag the best person to learn from as far as freelancing and i will also um put my blog in the description below so you guys can check out my blog post on how to become a social media manager and how to start onboarding process being onboarding easy is basically everything that you need to do when you get your first clients that's the onboarding process there's so much on the onboarding process and i'm just you guys can check out the blog post for that one right there that's a whole different topic but yeah again typically you don't need to worry about onboarding until you get your first client when you do get your first client you want to ensure onboarding is easy. So I gave you guys a couple of different suggestions on different ways to generate money and start you a business with zero dollars. Different ways you can start yourself a business with no money. Um, so if you're looking to do something like right now with not too much work involved, if you're looking to start right now with not too much work involved, I would highly recommend starting you a Etsy website and selling digital products on there because literally you just have to create the product she has a spoon with peanut butter on it that's why the bug is chasing me but yeah literally just create the products upload it there that's all you have to do you can create multiple products and you know just make sure you're using your seo and everything should go good um thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to the end let me know if you have any questions if this video helped you learn anything let me know if it did not help you learn anything please let me know that as well i want to make sure that i am appealing and reaching to my ideal target audience and my target audience i believe you guys are thriving and you're trying your best to build the ideal business that you want to and you just can't quite get there so ah. My ideal audience is kind of like me. So let me know if this video was helpful to you at all. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to help me grow my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Heels to Suits blog and vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Girls, my